Good morning everyone, my name is Joseph Getz and we're here at the Lafayette Place Campground in Franconia Notch in the White Mountain National Forest of New Hampshire. It's currently 6.30 a.m. and temperature is about 55 degrees. We're going to be doing about a 10 mile loop today and we're going to be summiting two 4,000 foot peaks, North Kinsman Mountain and South Kinsman Mountain. The weather forecast today looks pretty good with a chance of some thunderstorms, maybe some showers in the afternoon, but we're just going to hit the trail and uh, see where the day takes us. Along for the hike today is my four-year-old Belgian Shepherd, Dexter. So we are heading up to Lonesome Lake first, which is where one of the AMC huts is. And about 1.2 miles to Lonesome Lake and where the hut is. All right, so we are 0.4 miles into the hike, going up the Lonesome Lake Trail. We've already hit our first roadblock. Literally, there's a roadblock here. So it looks like we're going to take the, the, the High Cannon Trail for a little while and then hopefully there will be a detour which will lead us up to Lonesome Lake. driven through Franconia Notch, then you know just how steep the mountains are around here. You can see the, the, the cliff face on Cannon Mountain when you're driving through, uh, you know, where the old man on the mountain used to be. As an example, we've gone about 0.6 miles. We've gained about 500 feet of elevation. That's kind of how the mountains are in New Hampshire. They're extremely strenuous for short periods of time. Sort of more the same for each of the mountains. You have to be prepared to, to endure some, some really strenuous hiking at, at, you know, at for, for short bursts at a time. Right now, hoping that there is a cutoff which will lead us to Lonesome Lake because I do not want to go to the top of Cannon right now. Hiker detour. So we found the detour behind us. We're gonna head in a totally different direction. The sun is starting to come out. It's a beautiful morning. There's nothing like waking up early in the morning, getting out on the trail. On a morning like this, on a, on a weekday, where you can come out and there's nobody on the trail, there's really no other better feeling. Right, we finally made it to Lonesome Lake and there's a bunch of yellow construction tape.
Where do you think you're going, Dexter? No dogs allowed in the hut. Come on, buddy. We're going up the Fish and Jimmy Trail, which is part of the Appalachian Trail. And the Fish and Jimmy Trail is a two mile long trail leading from the AMC Hut, Lonesome Lake, up to Kinsman Pond. And it's, it's pretty steep. White blaze marks the AT. Looks like we're going the right way. He just looks at me like it's so easy. He just jumped up there like a mountain goat. He's like, come on bro, step your game up. So something that's really nice is that they've done a lot of work on this trail to get some sturdy foothold since this trail is only going to get steeper. They've, uh, they've carved out the rocks in some places for your feet. They've put wooden ladders at different sections. guys so I think we're just about at the Kinsman Pond shelter we're at the, the top of the Fish and Jimmy trail but I wanted to show you guys this view and I'm glad that I didn't hike Lafayette I was thinking about hiking Mount Lafayette over there and as you can see it's shrouded in the clouds Mount Lafayette is right over there somewhere in those clouds all right so we've reached the intersection of uh, the Kinsman Pond the ridge which leads up to the top of the Kinsman's and then over here which uh, is the Kinsman Ridge Trail which leads you over the Cannonballs over to Mount Cannon or Cannon Mountain. I think what we're gonna do is instead of going to Kinsman Pond right now we're gonna truck it up to the summit of North Kinsman and then over to South Kinsman before uh, the storm rolls in if there is a storm rolling in. So you guys can see up there that's the summit of North Kinsman. It's about 500 feet higher than where we are now and about a half mile from the intersection that we were just at. So it's definitely overcast right now. But I just saw a glimpse of the Franconia Ridge. It looks like we still might be able to get some good pictures up there. You can see behind me here all these trees that are just they just seem like they were demolished. You get these really high winds and little microbursts of wind up here. It's called blowdown. They just it just bulldozes all these smaller trees. We made it to the top of North Kinsman. It is absolutely beautiful up here. Gorgeous view of the Franconia Ridge, Lafayette, Lincoln little haystack, all the mountains, can of mountains over there. And uh, gonna take this opportunity to eat some lunch. Got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Got some trail mix. Got some beef jerky. Got this new energy bar. And then for dessert, chocolate bar. I, I hold on to this
storm cause I need to be swept away, swept away. I'm cornered in the cold where you left me, left again, left again. Dexter and I just left North Kinsman Peak. We're going to traverse along the ridge, the Kinsman Ridge, to uh, South Kinsman. We're going to bag our second 4,000 footer of the day. And then we're going to backtrack and, and head back the way we came. It is just an absolutely gorgeous day. A late June day here in 2017. South Kin Kinsman is uh, right over there. That's where we're headed. Woo! Reached the summit of South Kinsman. This is uh, breathtaking. It's a 360 degree panorama. And it's, it's awesome. With my day job, I actually work th Tuesday through Saturday. That's because I manage a, a tasting room of a local craft brewery in Manchester, New Hampshire. And, uh, the brewery is called Great North Ale Works. We've been around for about a year and a half, going on two years this summer, and uh, kind of made it a, a tradition. Every time I summit a mountain, I, uh, I bring up a can of beer, and uh, I happen to have our IPA, which is our flagship beer, and we actually won the, set, the silver medal at the World Beer Cup in Philadelphia a year ago, back in 2016. So for the American IPA category, American style IPA. This is the second best IPA currently uh, in the world. So, pretty awesome and uh, cheers. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is the first of many that I'm going to create on a weekly basis. And eventually, we're gonna have a video of all of the 48 4,000 foot peaks uh, here in uh, New Hampshire. And uh, I can't wait to, uh, to start this journey and, uh, and have you guys come along for the ride. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please uh, comment down below and let me know what you thought. Let me know what you would like to see in the future uh, and, and with future videos. And uh, if you guys could give it a, a like, subscribe. New Hampshire has everything. You can go from the, one of the tallest mountains east of the Mississippi in Mount Washington all the way down to the ocean, uh, down to Hampton Beach in just a matter of hours. So it really is an incredible place and, and I can't wait to show you guys all of this. This is, this is my home. This is what I love. And, and Dexter's going to be a part of this and, and uh, you're going to meet some other people in this vlog along the way too. So thank you guys and uh, catch you on the next one.